Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. I wanted to tell you about an exciting project we've got coming up. This has been years in the making trying to get this uh, to happen. Um, we had purchased a used greenhouse a while back. It's going to be a 36 by 40. It's going to be right here in this area in this front paddock. I've got someone coming in. He's going to be digging me a hole underneath. We're going to be installing some geothermal heating and cooling. I didn't want to put this big greenhouse up and not go ahead and put in all the pipe in the ground before we began because then it would be a whole lot more difficult to go back later and and put that in um, so it's going to be a big experiment for us i hope that it works as well as i think it's going to i hope to document the entire process uh, from start to finish let's go check out the materials that i've i've been gathering over the past few weeks so for those of you not familiar with this concept uh, we are going to take uh, this corrugated pipe back here and we're going to dig a, a hole either four or five feet deep um, around the inside perimeter of the greenhouse. We will be burying this pipe and then we will also line the perimeter of the hole with foam board uh, to insulate it to keep any of that heat uh, from escaping out the sides of the greenhouse. We want to keep it all underneath the greenhouse. What we will end up doing is we will take uh, we will take pieces of the six inch corrugated pipe right here and we will run from the very top ridge of the greenhouse inside. We will run it all along that ridge and down into the ground. And then basically we're gonna take that six inch and go straight across and make a manifold out of that. And then what we'll do is have one on each end and then connect it with the four inch uh, in two separate layers. We're gonna put one at five feet deep and then another one at three feet deep. And we will have those coming in and going out at opposite ends of the greenhouse. So what I'm planning to work on right now is I have to get holes drilled in the six inch pipe so that the four inch pipe will fit in it. And let me show you what I've got, uh, hopefully to try to do that. All right, so I just got this four and three quarter inch hole saw. I had to get the hole saw arbor to go with it uh, as well. Now you can buy these in kits, of course. Uh, with the various sizes but this one was pretty much the exact fit of the the four inch pipe here so the outside diameter is is the same size as that hole saw so in theory I should be able to drill this hole so in theory I should be able to drill that hole into the side of this pipe and then the four inch should fit straight into it. Now I'm a little concerned at how this is gonna work, uh, being that we're drilling into corrugated pipe. If I was drilling a hole into PVC pipe, I feel like it wouldn't be any issue whatsoever because it's kind of sturdy. Um, and it doesn't have the ridges like this does. It's not corrugated. So I'm interested to see uh, how this pipe reacts once I turn a drill onto it. Um, which hopefully this arbor is going to help a little bit uh, you know it's not like drilling into wood where that bit will kind of keep it in place you know I think once it gets through this little thin plastic we may have some issue of it moving around I'm thinking I might have to put a board inside of it to kind of hold it in place I'm not sure um, but anyway I figured I would uh, get out here and try it out the other thing that I have to do uh, to prep for putting this in is this pipe is this four inch pipe has holes in it instead of slits um, you know most of it has the slits all the way around and this one just has three roll three rows of holes like this right here it only has three sets of holes on that one side and nothing on the other. Now I'm sure I could probably get away with that, but considering the whole concept behind this is taking air, hot air from the greenhouse, blowing it into these tubes underground, and then letting that air disperse into the ground below, um, I, I kind of feel like the more holes I have in that, the better off I'm gonna be to get that heat exchange. So I think I'm just going to go through and drill maybe three more sets of holes in each one of these, which is going to be 1,800 feet of four inch pipe. So that's going to be 
quite a little bit of work. But first of all, I'm going to uh, start looking at drilling some of these holes with this hole saw and the six inch and see how that works. Anyway, let's get started on this and see how this goes. Battery's about to die, but uh, that's an easy fix. So yeah, I was I was kind of worried that the you know the, the pipe was going to kind of give a little bit, move around, but um, yeah, I think it's, it's stiff enough that this, this is going to work no problem. So let's see what a uh, we'll see how well the pipe the four inch pipe fits inside that hole now. little gap around it but I, I think it'll work you know I've seen some people who took duct tape and wrapped around it and then got it in to get a little tighter fit not sure if I really want to deal with all that um, I mean honestly it looks to me like I could use a four and a half inch saw which I might actually look at doing come over here with the camera or right there, right there son. Show that gap. See that gap right there? I mean, that's a good quarter inch at least. I'd like for this to fit as tight as possible so that I don't have to worry about wrapping tape around it because that tape's going to come off eventually anyway. Um, so, so I, I think I might, I might actually go get a four and a half inch hole saw. All right, so one of the other major components uh, to setting up a system like this is to get insulation foam board. Um, this, will, once we dig the hole out, we will line the perimeter of that hole with this foam board. And so as we're pumping heat down into the ground, this will keep that heat from escaping out the sides of the greenhouse. I was able to find this particular foam board um, online. Somebody was selling it, had a ton of it used. And uh, it was pretty hard to find the two inch stuff, even even brand new. Like I could get it, I think at Home Depot, but I couldn't get it at Lowe's. And um, you know, only certain stores had it, that type of thing. Now I found plenty of people who had inch and inch and a half foam board for pretty cheap as well. Um, so it definitely pays to, to do some research, do some digging, plan this out. You know, start start looking as soon as you can, even months out. Because typically stuff like this will go quick. Like I know um, he had probably a hundred more sheets and I think they're all gone now. And they were gone within a week um, of me getting these. So, so, you know, so keep your eye open and if you find it, you might want to jump on it quick.